What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Life of Cletus. Today, I'm back. Cletus Selden, the Hebrew Hammer, professional boxer who just won his belt not too long ago. And if you guys just recently seen my first Funko Pop hunting video in 2019, yes, it's June. You guys, uh, you guys are questioning yourselves. Am I collecting? Am I not collecting? Why am I buying these figures? Why am I picking them up? Well, you guys seen the one mystery box that I did on live stream. I picked out a Maggie figure and I saw it on the shelf. I liked it. That meant I took the figure out of its box. The only way for me to collect figures moving forwards right now, unless they're really rare figures, I'm looking to buy figures and take them out of the box and display them. One of the, and probably the best time I've ever had with Funko Pops was when I had my entire Star Wars collection out on display. I had all the Marvel movies out on display and I really enjoyed them the most. I even had the DC animated section over there in the corner. Uh, those were the best times I actually in, had with Funko Pops and the most I ever enjoyed in general was having them out on display. So I am going back to my roots. I'm going back to what I really enjoyed about the figures. I can no longer stand buying Funko Pops and having them in boxes. This one's an exception. Zeb Judah gave it to me, but really, this thing's going to be out of the box. I just can't do it no more. And it's not really for space. It's just I don't enjoy them in the box anymore. I'm sick of seeing Funko Pops in boxes. I'm sick of seeing toys in boxes. It's very depressing, to be honest. And that is how I basically <sighs> went through it all so that I'm able to do uh, my collecting still right here. This was one of the, uh, actually, I'm going to go over all the pops I picked up. This was one of them. And this is the Witch King. Yeah. This mother flock is heavy. And I could see Funko taking this figure and making a metallic one down the road. Uh, this is the 13th of June. So if they do make one, I told you so. Um, reason saying is they put a lot of work and a lot of work into this figure for its mold. And I don't see them just doing a one and done. Look at that thing. Um, the Witch King actually comes off himself, and this Fell Beast is off the charts. I like the armor he has on them. They could have kept him without the armor and made it just a regular one and then made it exclusive with the armor. I can see them making that metallic. Um, same thing with the actual Witch King himself. This is probably going to be my favorite figure in 2019 for sure. And as I look up over here, there's only a few figures that I actually have on display in the household. And it's just those Lord of the Ring Pops right there. Those are the only figures, literally, that are Funko Pops that are out on display that I have. I got a whole other section with Punky, and we basically came up with the same agreement. We got to get these things out of box. So this guy's coming out of box. And we're going to continue this uh, process. So enjoy the... Uh, Madness and if you guys ah, I'm sorry if you guys are just uh, inbox collectors because yeah, uh, I can't help myself. I can't help it and uh, I, I'm just gonna leave The cameras going and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I am off for my fight. So I'm glad uh, <sighs> This box here, you know, it was 15 bucks Kind of pissed. Uh, that Witch King on the uh, Fell Beast. I thought it was a Nazgul for some reason. I don't know why. On the Fell Beast, those thing was thirty-two dollars. You know, I kind of flocked up, and my fandom got the best of me on that one. Now this one here, I picked this up for a particular reason, and the particular reason is no other toy company is going to make this ever. They're never going to make this. Um, I probably. take it off its base mm. I don't really like the bases 
just because you could see right here, like I could put a figure there, I could put a figure there, I could put a figure there, I could put a figure there. You can see where all the attachments are too. Maybe you're not supposed to. I don't know. They attached here, it's attached here, it's attached here, four parts, and here too. Mm. Yeah, probably the best way to do this actually is running it under hot water and then gripping it off. I'm going to leave that there. Maybe it's just not meant to be for me to rip that off. But I love the scene. I don't think they'll ever make a, uh, or any other toy company's going to make something like that. So I'll grab that bad boy. Uh, they did come in with some stuff like this. I usually give it to my nephews and nieces and oh my. Um, some other stuff we got. Simpsons. Lisa. It's funny, too, because if you guys watched that video of the... I sat there for, like, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, trying to find the best boxes. And another reason why I didn't want to pick up this particular set was the color of the actual yellow on the actual figure. I feel like it should have been a little darker color or put another color in. It just seems a little too light to the point where you can almost actually like see inside of her. Like she's almost translucent almost. Like you can almost like see all the way through. You know what I'm saying on that? You got what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying over there? Yeah. Um, I guess we'll just go with the one cam. We'll do that. So yeah, that's that. So we got a little Lisa Simpson. We got ourselves a... Uh, Mo, I didn't even know there was a Mo until I got there. I said, oh, look at that. Uh, the second thing I will complain about. Funko Pops need bases. All of them. Every single Funko Pop needs a base. You got Mo? I can't wait to see how far they take this line. Uh, that was another reason why I kind of didn't want to get involved in this motherfucker. Because of the fact of... You know, they can make this series. Like, if a, if a company got this series... They can just use it forever. You can literally make it forever. It's a long-running television show on TV. Uh, we have Radioactive Man. If I had to just choose two out of all this, it would have been Radioactive Man and Bart Man. Love them as a kid. Who doesn't want to be a superhero? Dream about it. Think about it. Boom. We got Radioactive Man. Uh, another good thing is I do have all of my display stands so I can put these guys in their tiers. Let me grab that actually. I have this one and this one. You know off Amazon. They're acrylic risers. Um, again, I got these acrylic risers off of Amazon. Go with that Rob there. Alright, next up we got Mr. Burns. These guys got to be out of the box. Uh, just look up the space. Look at the space I'm saving right away just by this. You know, that's about two and a half pops feet uh, deep. This is three pops deep. He should have came with a stand as well. Uh, you know, they got the big head, little body. Come on, Funko. Funko. We need him. What are you doing to us? We're 2019 changing the ways of life. Let me know if, how you guys agree or if you agree at all with this uh, whole thing. And I'm going to grab the Maggie. Boom. I'm liking this. I'm loving it, actually. And there's another company that makes them. Is it Playmates or Hasbro? I think it's Playmates. That has the Simpson license, and there's like a million of them. There's like one zillion different kind of figures. They literally can go forever. It literally can go forever. All right, we got Grandpa Simpson. Throwing him up there. You like this, right? How much nicer does that look on display? Just like I had my Star Wars. Just like I had my Marvel figures. I enjoy doing it like this. I'm very happy that I got back into collecting and finding a series that I wanted. I didn't want to go into collecting Funko Pops again. Not buying the newest waves so I can make a video so that, you know, that's not my style. It's never been. I buy what I like and what I like to collect. And it's always been like that. And I don't fall into the realm of the YouTube world where all the people are just like, Oh, you got to buy this one to make a video. I don't do that. I'll never do it. I buy this stuff and I buy them at great prices. And next up, we picked up this. Uh, my plans kind of got ruined on this one because of that damn Jafar. Boom. Check this out. 
I'm okay with this. I can live my life like this. Now, I did get these pops. And everything was going the way to plan until this last freaking pop came up. These things were 15 bucks. The Jafar was $15. I do want to get the Lion King, either the Chase or the Common. I don't really care for. Uh, either one I would want. I like the green actually more than I like the Chase one. But let's be honest, we all want the Chase, right? At the end of it, I am taking them out of the box. And I also, if you guys don't know, I have sold some of my older pops. Stuff that I no longer want to keep in the collection based off of value and a lot of money spent. I'm just going to, whatever I just was talking about, I just cut that whole part out because it's another video. But uh, on this, we paid $15 for this and this and then I had to get this, which kind of messed me up. But originally, I paid for the Simpson Pops we paid about $6.50 each, half of retail at, at that store, which is a home flocked run. Uh, the Corel DeVille, you're never gonna find another figure like that, so that's why I picked that up. And I like collecting the figures the way that I used to collect them, this way right here. Buying them, taking them out of the box, and displaying them. I then take these boxes, I'll store them, because who knows down the road, I might want to change my mind, or there might be a new wave out, and I'll be able to get some, uh, some funds back on these in like five years. You never know. Uh, that's what I'm basically doing in moving forwards. A lot of people think I sold my pop collection. I sold about $24,000 worth of Funko Pops and Pokemon stuff, but I only sold like 200 figures. I didn't even sell 400 figures yet. I still own 2,200 Funko Pops or 2,400 Funko Pops. I don't remember. It's insane. Let me know your thoughts about this. Are you glad that I'm back to collect some Pops? I do have a, a passion for The Simpsons. Growing up as a kid, boom, simple. That was free television. We had the TV that did the thing like this. We had no cable till I was like 15 or whatever. And that was the... Basically the only cartoon besides Saturday morning uh, that you were able to watch because you were at school. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know your thoughts. This was uh, like a welcome back-ish kind of thing, right? And I got more videos coming. I got a lot of them uh, stored away and uh, I've been working hard on these. Like I collect every single day still. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. See you in the next one. Boom, boom.